Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is from Terrapin Beer Company. This is their Easy Rider. And being a motorcycle enthusiast, had to have that. Uh, Easy Rider is a hopped up session ale, is what it says here on the bottle. Beer having calls it an American Pale Ale, and also it is called an Amber Ale. This is Seasonal 2012. It's got a written right here on the label, so that's as close as the date we're going to get. It is a summertime beer in 2012, so that's all we need to know, basically. And what they've done here, they have taken a, uh, a lot of hops. They use five different kinds of hops, and they popped up this beer. So it should be a hop lover's delight, but it's only 4.5% ABV. So it's a hoppy session ale, just like they say. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This may be something you can sip on or, or drink more than one or two before you have to stop. Got too much of a buzz. 4.5, this is down in the Budweiser category as far as ABV. The, uh, the food pranks for this cuisine is Pan-Asian, the cheese of the earthy Canterbury, Fontina, Nutty, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, uh, your more tangy cheeses, and the meat is poultry for this one, guys. The glassware is pint, Becker, Stein, and Mug. I got the pint glass today, guys. Uh, the beer is not recommended for extended salary being that low of an ABB. Uh, Maris Otter Malt is what they use when they brew this. And like I said, five different kind of hops. So, get the cap on this bad boy. Get it in the glass. That, that looks very golden. looks like a macro lager in a glass. I doubt about a lot of bubbles shriving up from the bottom. Didn't pour a massive head. Didn't pour it super aggressive. But looks like a golden ale. Golden pale ale in the glass. Very light colored. It's got a nose on it. See if there's any hops in this. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the grapefruit. A little bit of pine going on there too. It's not super, super hoppy, but pretty hoppy for a pale ale and a low ABV pale ale too. It smells really good. Wow. It's got a real pleasant nose for a hop guy like myself, guys. Cheers. Let's give it a taste. Terrapins uh, not let me down on very many. Uh, just about everything they do I like, so hopefully this will be one of them too. Taste is not overwhelming. Even though they've used five hops, five different hops on this, they haven't went overboard. It is not a hop bomb. Wow. This may be the tastiest lawnmower beer that I've done yet. Got a date on it too, guys. What do you think? Any of you guys out there that's had this beer? I'd like to get some comments back on this one. Like I said, it's not overwhelmingly hopped. It's not over hopped. Very pleasant too. Very, very pleasant. Let's right out of the fridge. Before I sit here and drink it all in front of you, I'm going to let the other half taste it and see what she thinks of it. Uh, we'll be right back and do the final chug on this one. This is uh, looks like a winner to me, guys. Uh, it's definitely above average beer. And it's got more hops in it than a typical pale ale. I mean, uh, Sierra does a good one on their pale ale, but it's a little more alcohol than what this one is. So, so what they're going after here is a very low ABV with 4.5. That is... Uh, 
got a little more hops than normal, and I think they've achieved that. So we're going to grade it accordingly. So we're going to let it warm up. Be right back to the final chug. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit more than a little bit. Let me hit this thing one more time here. It is warmed up. It's uh, about room temperature. I've been sipping on it about 20 minutes, 25 minutes now. Very pleasant. It's not a hot bomb like I said before. It is uh, a hopped up session ale. With that being said, got a very nice, uh, the other half said it had a citrusy taste to her and I agree with that. It does have a nice hop citrusy taste. Five different hops in this one guys. I don't know. Yeah, real tasty. This would be an excellent lawnmower beer in the summertime at 4.5%. So, guys, I really enjoyed this. It's got the date on the bottle. Terrapin's one of my favorite breweries. Uh, it is a, it's a, it's an awesome beer, and I'm gonna grade it accordingly. I think it's a nine out of ten. So, if you uh, if you see it, pick it up. I mean, if you're expecting an IPA, it is not. It is a low ABV, hopped up session ale. A lot more beer. Good lot more beer. So, guys. Uh, it's, it's a real nice beer, so if you had it, give me some comments back on this. Rate Beer has 88 overall and 97 in the style. So they're saying if it's pretty good in the style, I think that's a little low on the grade. Uh, beer Abbott comes up with an 85, which is in the good range. Uh, I might be a little a little heavy on the grading on this one, but it's a decent beer. I mean, it, it is what it is. Not blowing my hair back and my socks off. Got a date on the bottle, five kind of hops, low ABV. If you're looking for a session, hoppy ale. This is the one. Give it a try, guys. Come back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. Hit that like button if you like it. See y'all tomorrow.